The piece of research that I've done that I'm most proud of is looking at the effects of vitamin D on management of symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. We wrote up a case study and we were the very first people to report any research whatsoever in that topic area. That in turn led on to a much larger piece of research where we did a full-scale clinical trial. Unfortunately, the outcome of that trial was negative, but I felt that I grew enormously as a scientist as a consequence of doing that. Hello, I'm Bernard Korf. I'm Professor of Human Nutrition and Health here at Newcastle University, and I'm the new Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Nutritional Science. My particular area of research interest is in the mechanisms of action of dietary fibre and how dietary fibre might prevent colorectal cancer. I decided to take on the role of Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Nutritional Science because I think it occupies a particularly important position. There is a huge challenge in publishing at the moment, Many traditional model journals look for novelty above all else. Many open access journals focus on very high volume research so that they give an opportunity for negative results to be published, but there is also perhaps a lack of quality. The aspect of journal nutritional science that makes it unique is that it is editorially independent of its publisher. And so we have a really nice dynamic there. So we can pursue high quality research, and make sure that only the best research gets published, but we don't need to focus on novelty the way that classical model journals do. So if you choose to publish in the Journal of Nutritional Science, you'll have all of the typical benefits of an open access journal. So good availability of your research to peer researchers. You'll also have the assurance in the eyes of your peers that the work has been reviewed and assessed by an editorial board and by peer reviewers of the highest standard. I hope that the Journal of Nutritional Science will continue to grow and also be recognised as a forum in which scientists can exchange novel ideas, question ideas and that the science we publish is of the best standard.